G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Well, what I thought kind of wouldn't happen has kind of happened. <laughs> I know that's a little bit convoluted, but basically I didn't think we'd see any really big dips uh, until much later in the piece. And look, th this dip hasn't been that big, but it has been reasonably significant though. We can see the market cap's down. I mean, I think this was 500 and something, uh, 70 billion for some reason I'm thinking. Uh, so it's definitely come down uh, a lot. Uh, BTC dominance still around kind of 60% and gas, gas prices are sort of, uh, you know, average really. Not great, not bad, they've been worse. But we can see we lost all those profits. So these were still really doing well. Uh, and XRP is kind of hanging in there, but you know, it's probably going to roll over like a lot of other things. And as we have a look in the charts uh, and the fear and greed index, I am definitely concerned that we're still going to go uh, reasonably lower. So yeah, we just need to be careful here. There's no guarantees we will, it might all be done, but again, we'll have a look. All right, let's have a look, 24 hours. There were some gains though, so things are still going up, but they may be about to sort of roll over. You know, we'll have to wait and see. But also, maybe it's because the dip is done and now things are just straight up going to start to recover. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But there's some nice gains in there over 24 hours. Uh, but we can see, you know, also some of them had some pretty steep losses over the last seven days. But I mean, Stella is just on a rip tear at the moment. Uh, again, I've got Stella and I got my position a long time ago, so I'm not too worried about what happens. It's unlikely to go below the prices that I bought in. But, you know, this is quite some move and maybe this is the start of that. Losses though, let's have a look. I'm gonna say there's gonna be uh, at least a couple. Yep, so Litecoin's down and it's lost uh, a lot of its gains. Uh, Bitcoin SV, Crypto.com, I mean, that's really struggled for a while. It did make a bit of a comeback, but yeah, as we can see, you know, nothing sort of too major, but again, it could get worse because the weekend is upon us and that's what I'm really worried about. That and, really, this is probably the biggest thing. Even now, there's still extreme greed. So that makes me think there's definitely gonna be some uh, more sell-offs. So I did what I generally don't like to do, but I got some uh, coins that weren't really performing all that well, uh, and I changed them into USDC. So I now have some USDC sitting on the side uh, to wait and see what happens. And look, I've got some other ones that haven't performed well at all, Unibright, uh, Engine, uh, and again, I'm not throwing shade on them. I really like the projects and I you know, am just gonna hold on to them, but I probably really should uh, cut those loose and just you know, go into the projects that have done the best for me. But this, this is concerning. This is definitely concerning. Even after this dip, people are still kind of super bullish. Uh, and, and yeah, it, it's a worry. We'll go and have a look. All right, Litecoin. Now this is against BTC. So it's, you know, come down and again, we got to the bottom here and then it had this big pump up and now we've started to lose that. So is this just gonna roll over and keep going lower? Now look, in the US dollar terms, it continues to go up. So in that point of view, uh, it's not like it's an awful um, investment, but against BTC, uh, it's definitely getting hammered. So have to keep an eye on that. Now Ethereum, we're hoping, or at least I'm hoping, that it's going to bounce. When you go into the lower time frames, it's come down to here and uh, basically bounce. So let's go down and we'll have a look at the, I think it was maybe the 15 minute chart. Yeah, so there we can see, it was way up here. It's come down, bounced around here, and it looks like it's sort of coming back up here but also rolling over, so we just need to be careful. Let's go to the hourly chart. 15 minutes, a bit choppy all over the place there. And again, so we rolled over, touched this, and now we bounced up, and we'll wait and see what happens. Again, I really just go off the daily charts mainly, but every now and then I have a look at other things to just you know have a rough gauge of where it is. So, Yep, we broke up here and hopefully this resistance line uh, will hold. But look, it may not. And then we get over to the big daddy of them all. So Bitcoin. And again, this pullback wasn't that bad, but here's what has me concerned. Uh, greed is still high 
and really the only support we have is maybe around sort of here 15,000 sort of 800 so it's quite possible we come down to here but if it's not here then we really are looking at the 13,000 and look possibly even the 12 sort of thousand eight hundred dollar level I think it was yeah somewhere around about here now this is possible I don't think it's likely but it's something we have to keep in mind it's definitely possible hence why I've got uh, some USDC waiting on the sidelines uh, I didn't dollar cost average in uh, today is when I normally would have bought I've just got that money on the side so I've got some USDC and some Australian dollars and I'm just waiting to see what happens I don't think we're going to have uh, anything too drastic happens but if we go by past history, it regularly has, you know, sort of 30, 40% pullbacks. This takes us down to 29% right here. So basically a 30% pullback and Bitcoin could come back to 13,800. So it's something we have to keep an eye out for. And it could take a while. It may take a week. For the next week, we may kind of travel downwards. It doesn't always happen kind of in 24 hours and then recover in 24 hours. It can be a bit of a prolonged period. So we're just going to have to wait and see. It is quite possible we get a bit of a sucker's rally and then it just rolls over again. So for me, not really buying anything too much. I did uh, get out of some projects that weren't doing well and I didn't uh, cash all of that out I cash some of it out and then I also just uh, got into projects that had done well so the cash is just to wait and see if we go lower uh, and the actual sort of swaps were just for you know if this is the bottom then uh, it's all good you know hedging your bets basically what it is I want some cash on the side in case we're going lower uh, and I wanted to just simply swap some stuff in case we have found the bottom and we just start to find our way back up here because look for quite some time the only real retracement we had was this one over here. And this was, uh, you know, some market manipulation, the old Bart uh, Simpson pattern. This was just, yeah, people getting enthusiastic. But again, it doesn't matter. We can still roll over, which is exactly what's happened. So I am keeping an eye out for this $13,800 level. And I won't really be buying any more Bitcoin until we probably hit about up here. Because I'm just concerned that, you know, we'll get a bit of a, a sucker's rally for it to roll over again and still make its way back down here look in the grand scheme of things i could buy bitcoin here and it's not really going to hurt in my personal opinion not financial advice because i think we still continue to go up uh, and we go a long way up but i'm just not really ready to make any more losses you know i mean i, I watch my portfolio go from you know 100 and i think it's 130 140 150 percent are in profit to now it's only 99% in profit so uh, it hurts to see things like that uh, and again I may have to rebalance my portfolio uh, a little bit more but I may have to change my strategy as well I think from now on instead of putting all my money in when I dollar cost average I'm going to put half of what I would normally put in and I'm going to have the other half sitting on the side for when we have the big dips because these are the buying opportunities now look Again, no one knows exactly what's going to happen. It could go lower, so maybe the better buying opportunity is down around here. But again, this could be the bottom. This might have been the bottom right here, and now it just starts to make its way back up. So who knows? Again, longer term, I don't think it really matters. I could buy in here, but I'm just simply going to wait and see. If I see it start to get back up here, then I'll just start to invest here. I'll, you know, It is what it is. I did uh, make some sort of trades down here. Again, they were trades with losing uh, coins anyway, all my winners, I'm just letting them ride. So I'm just hoping that those losers don't become any more losers and this slowly starts to find its way back up again and they turn into winning trades. But look, that's investing in sort of trading. Again, I don't do a whole lot of trading. Uh, and again, because I, I get burnt you know, on a number of occasions and a lot of traders do, please don't get sucked into thinking uh, that there's traders out there that just nail it all the time. They don't. They, you know, if you have a sort of 50-50 uh, win rate, it can be even a little bit less, a 40 kind of 60 win rate. As long as those, you know, 40 that do well, they make up for the 60% that you lose. Uh, and again, don't quote me on those figures, but it's about, it's, it is it is roughly around about that. You know, if half the time they win and half the time they lose, they just need a couple of uh, really good winners to make up for the losses. All right, that's it for me. Not really much else to talk about. Obviously, the market's down. It is Friday, though, so you know it's quite likely that we still continue to go down. 
But look, Bitcoin will be Bitcoin and it could just freak, you know, freak everybody out and tomorrow just, you know, shoot up and go to all time new highs. No one really, really knows. But again, I've made some trades to get rid of underperforming uh, coins, put them into uh, ones that have performed well. Uh, and again, I've got some others that I may have to cut, but I just believe in the projects. Unibright, Engine, uh, there's a couple of others there I'll have to go back and have a look, and I'm just not ready to give up on those yet. Um, yeah, Matic actually, so I've got into Matic a few times, but unfortunately when I uh, put in the bulk of my uh, Matic position, it was basically when it was at nearly all-time high, so I constantly sit at sort of 20 to 30% uh loss uh, but again I believe in Matic uh, and I've continued to buy more and so really you know my my main Matic buy would probably be down nearly 50% but because I've been scaling in for uh, smaller prices it's brought my losses upwards uh, yeah, well not upwards yeah it has brought them back up closer to even so yeah all right stay safe be kind to one another pretty hard to be on that gain train at the moment but as we saw it's not like there weren't any gains there's definitely be gains that have been made and i'll see you next time